In this video, we're going to learn how to use the int dunder method in Python. So the int dunder method is also called a magic method. It's a special method that we can add to our class definitions in order to define how objects of that class type should behave when passed to the built-in int function. So the built-in int function is intended to convert objects of different types to an int value. So if we have a string like 43 here, we could convert this string to an int value using the built-in int function. So if we pass the string to the int function, this is going to return the int value 43. We'll have here number is equal to the return value of calling int and passing its string. Now because it's an int, we can actually use it as an int value and do things like add one to it. So I could have here print and we'll have number plus one. And this will give us 44 because we're adding one to 43. So if we save the program and try it out, we do get 44. Now we can define how objects of a type should behave when they're passed to the int function by defining the int dunder method. So what we'll do is create a class type to represent bank accounts. We'll have here class and account. And when an account object is created, we'll set an attribute balance to some provided balance. So we'll have def and then init with self and balance. And we'll set the attribute balance to balance. So we're setting the attribute balance to the balance parameter value. Then we could create an account object with a balance of 1000. We'll have account one is equal to account with a balance of 1000. And we could open the balance here with print account one dot balance. And if we save the program and try it out, we'll get 1000. Now, if we try to use the account object with a built in int function, it's not going to work because we haven't defined the int dunder method yet. So here, if I had print, and then I pass account one to the built in int function, and we save the program and we try it out, we'll get an error here. It says int argument must be a string, a byte like object or a number, not a count. So what we could do is define the int dunder method. We'll have here def and then int with just self. And now this method should return the int representation of this object. Now exactly what that means will depend on the type of the object and what the programmer intends. In the case of this account object, what we'll do is just return the account balance. We'll have return self.balance. Now down here, when we call the built-in int function, it's this int method that's going to be called and self is going to be set to account one. So then if we save the program and try it out, now we'll get 1000 because our int dunder method is returning the account balance. So this is how we can use the int dunder method in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.